Do you want new decorations for your settlement? Well, look no further than all these Picket Fences magazines that you can collect and get just that. We'll even be covering the one on the Creation Club. So, first up, you'll want to hit up Beantown Brewery. It's just west of the Cambridge Police Station. And uh, it does have a few raiders, but the comic's pretty easy to get. If you've always wanted that American dream, this is the comic for you. For you can see, you can build picket fences. So get that nice white picket fence out the front. It's uh, just behind all these raiders, straight into the room here, and it's lying in front of the steamer trunk. There we go, issue one, the house of tomorrow. This next one is located at Hardware Town, the place where you get ambushed by some raiders. You do have to fight through this little dungeon. It's just south of Diamond City, so when you're in the area, be sure to call in and get yourself this comic. As this one unlocks some high-tech lights for you, both hanging and uh, also some freestanding ones. So again, very cool. Uh, we'll want to run past all the raiders here. You'll be stuck in the middle of a firefight, but not to fear. Uh, you can see where they've uh, kind of gathered the remains of everyone else that fell for their trick. But we didn't. We were slightly smarter than that. And we're going to run our way all the way up here. Get the torch on for a bit of light. And boom. We'll get into the final room. You can find we bobblehead with the storage key as well as the picket fences. This one, Modern Hearth. You would have thought it would have gave give you like kitchen stuff. But no, it's just high tech lights. But still, pretty awesome. The next one you can find is at the Saugus Ironworks, located in the top section of the map, next to the likes of the Slog and the Parson State Insane Asylum. If you want to build statues like the big lion ones or a Minuteman statue, then this is the place you'll want to head up. It's in the Blast Furnace, so we have a fur dungeon to get through. And honestly, I couldn't tell you how many times I have done this particular dungeon and how many times I decided to jump into one of the furnaces and find out, uh, well, yeah, if you F around, you find out. You die instantly if you try and jump into any of the cauldrons. So uh, my advice, uh, please refrain from doing that to the best of your abilities. And I think it is very important that I run this entire dungeon because, again, it can be a little confusing for players and I don't want that. So so we'll head straight on over. And if you're really quick, you could try and save the person uh, that's going to get absolutely annihilated here, as we're about to see. I've been told he's saveable, but again, you would need vats and slag to kind of slow down. Uh, so given the fact that that's not going to happen in this particular video, we can pick up the picket fences right here. Whilst you're here, you may as well pick up the explosive bobblehead uh, that's also there. And uh, we'll be able to get our new statues for our settlements. Now, let's head on over to the combat zone. The combat zone is a place I didn't often visit in most of my runs, surprisingly, and uh, didn't get caught in too many of them. It's uh, just south of uh, Swan's Pond, and uh, the book is pretty easy to find. It's right up beside the stage. And it's for all you plant lovers who want to build some potted plants, both small and large. It's right over here, boom, beside the whiskey bottle. Uh, Codsworth will be happy that he has something to look after when you go back to Sanctuary and you build some of these. Modern Long Cur. Alright, let's go get our next one. We're actually not too far away from where we started at Beantown Brewery, over at the Western Water Treatment Plant. Here is, well, it's flooded and it's covered with uh, super mutants and meat bags. What more could you possibly want? So we'll enter in here, take the elevator down and pretty much, you don't have to actually do the dungeon, you can just pick it up. Which is pretty handy for us, so let's go get it done straight into the elevator and let's go. Suppose you would like to know what exactly this one gets you. Well, if you want to do a cookout, then this is the book for you. For you see, it unlocks patio furniture as well as a grill. So get back to Sanctuary and start uh, get the Barbie on, as they would say. Last up is the holiday special. So if you want to visit this place, head straight on over to the Milton General Hospital near the Fallon's Department Store. It's in West Roxbury and... The easiest way to it is just to fast travel in and walk all the way around to the back. Now, there's a lot of super mutants and issues that you will have to deal with, provided you've sorted through all that. And if you've got the Creation Club, he should be here. There we go. How awesome is this? I know it is paid content, but technically you are supporting a modder slash artist 
um, through that. So it's a nice wee program. Ray- Raymond here, of course, is sitting just chilling uh, with uh, Rudolph. What a dog. Class. And a, a steamer trunk. I think in there, yep, we've got the holiday special sexy Santa hat and sexy Santa costume. <laughs> and a sh- we had a, a shipment of decorations and toys. What? No idea what some of those are. It's a, it's a pretty funky thing. Give me one second. Wow, this actually gives you an amazing amount of Christmas-themed stuff for your settlements. I'm going to have to try this out when I'm doing my 100% playthrough. Really spice things up. But yes, that pretty much covers all the picket fences, including the Creation Club. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and comics if you're interested. See you in the next one.